Okay. Hey, good morning, everyone. Good afternoon and uh, good evening. Uh, so my name is uh, Dr. Ruth Wario. I'm from the University of the Free State, uh, South Africa. Uh, so the topic of uh, uh, my research, uh, of this presentation, is uh, comparative performance of machine learning algorithm in prediction of cervical uh, cancer. Uh, so this is a continuous uh, uh, research uh, project that we are, we are working on. Uh, last year, uh, the same IST 2020, uh, we did uh, presented a paper where we looked at, um, at the symbol method. And in this paper, we are looking at the performance comparison of both ensemble method and classification algorithm. And then there's four other authors, um, uh, three other authors on this paper. Um, uh, Emmanuel, uh, who is the main author of the, of the paper. And then uh, there's Oweru, Patronella, and Lawrence also the co-author uh, the paper. Uh, looking at the motivation uh, in the problem area, uh, cervix cancer is a major global challenge and is the fourth most common cancer affecting women worldwide as compared to Western country, which have drastically reduced its cervical cancer death. So it's estimated that about 90% of the mortality cervical cancer death occur in low and middle income countries where mortality is 18 times higher than that in developed country, which account for 12% of all female cancers. So the new cases and mortality will ascend uh, by 75% by the year 2025, if appropriate consideration and early discovery strategies are not utilized for early treatment. So although early diagnosis of the cervical cancer is paramount for effective treatment, the biggest challenge is that it does not show any symptom when it starts occurring. So early detection requires advanced medical devices and physician expertise whose availability is limited in many low income countries, especially in Africa, where this research was conducted. So machine learning technique is one known method that can be used in early detections of cervical cancer. And this research is actually based on that. Uh, looking at the research objective, our research objective uh, is to understand the performance of the selected machine learning algorithm in the prediction of cervical cancer based on risk factors. So we anticipated that this study will help software developers in selecting the best algorithm required for producing optimal results while implementing a system for prediction of cervical cancer based on risk factors. So our research approach, that's the methodology we applied. Um, here we look at the data set. Uh, our data set, uh, we obtain it from the UCI machine learning uh, repository. And the description of the data set was well explained by uh, Fanadais. And then we use the Python 3.7 uh, notebook uh, uh, for all our implementations. Uh, the original data sets uh, contain 858 samples uh, with that 36 uh, variables. So the data set had some missing value, which were imputed using the most frequent value, which is the mode of that particular uh, column. And then the correlation was also done on the data set to determine which variables were related to outcome or target uh, variables. So a biopsy was selected as our outcome variable since it's regarded as the gold standard for diagnosis cervical cancer. A descriptive statistics uh, was used so to ascertain uh, the distribution of which attributes. Uh, it also helped to know whether the data sets in use need to be standardized or not. So therefore, uh, there was a strong need to normalize our data set. And then during standardization, attributes are frequently rescaled into a range somewhere in a range of zero 
and one inclusive. So it's, it, it is helpful for optimization algorithm utilized in the core of machine learning algorithm uh, like gradient descent, recreation and neural network as well as K nearest neighbors. So the Python library Skyline implementation of the Minimax scalar class was used. So to, to avoid data leakage during the normalization, pipeline were used during the process. Basing on our data sets, we selected a classification algorithm and assemble methods. So the outcome, um, the major outcome, or, or that's our result, uh, the variables used from the data sets, uh, we looked at the age, uh, the number of the sexual partners, uh, first sexual intercourse or uh, sexual intercourse in years, uh, number of pregnancies, smokes, smokes in years, hormone contraceptives, intrauterine uh, device, that's IUD, and the STDs. So the biopsy was used as our target variable since uh, we regarded it as a gold standard of diagnosis cervical cancer. So the K-fold cross-validation was used on each experiment where K is equal to 10 in all our experiments. Um, during this study, a performance comparison of six classification algorithms was used. Uh, those are the other boost, uh, stochastic uh, gradient boost, boosting random forest extra tree, uh, K nearest neighbors and support vector machine. So the algorithm, uh, this algorithm were used, were evaluated uh, using uh, F1 score, area under curve, that's AUC, uh, recall and accuracy metric. So these metrics were used because it gives a quick idea of how good a given model is. And they also work well on binary classification uh, problems. In the experiment, uh, we did it on both unbalanced and balanced data sets. Uh, the original data set was in unbalanced and synthetic minority of a sampling technique uh, was used to balance the data set. So the experiment result on imbalanced data sets uh, revealed that all the al algorithm under study performed well with accuracy performance metric, but performed poorly with F1 score. AUC and recall results. All the algorithms perform better when using an accuracy metric. Uh, this means that the accuracy may produce misleading results while working with an imbalanced uh, data set. So the experiment uh, done on the balanced data set also revealed, um, it revealed an improved performance using F1 score, area under curve, recall and accuracy. Uh, uh, and, and, and accuracy. So synthetic minority of a sampling technique was used to balance the data set. So the synthetic minority of a sampling technique involved over sampling the minority class by creating synthetic minority class examples. So it was also revealed that the ensemble methods uh, generally perform well with all the performance metric when compared to classification algorithms. Then the extra tree performed better than the rest when using the F1 score metric, uh, uh, stochastic gradient boosting and random forest performed better uh, than the rest when using the AUC metric. Uh, a K uh, nearest uh, neighbors outperformed the rest using the recall metric and extra tree had the best accuracy, which is 0.96. So the experiment on the unnormalized data sets uh, revealed low performance of the algorithms compared to when the data set were normalized. In all the experiments, we used the default setting. That is the parameter from the Python SKLAN uh, library. Uh, the study contribution, um, we looked at the study contribution based on the experiment done on both balanced and unbalanced, imbalanced data set. Accuracy may not be the suitable performance metric when the data set is imbalanced. Other performance metric like the confusion met metric uh, and AUC may be suitable in that case. So also experimental results revealed uh, that ensemble methods outperform traditional classification algorithm in the classification of the cervical cancer. 
So this observation may help researchers who are interested in the real world implementation of, of the algorithm and the study. And then in conclusion, that's the outlook, um, the application of machine learning method in the prediction of the cervical cancer using risk factor may lead to early detection of the disease, which can be treated if diagnosis early. So during this study, four different ensemble method and two classification algorithms were evaluated and a suitable algorithm for a problem was identified. So the ensemble method, a two boosting method, and those are the add boost and stochastic uh, gradient boosting and two bagging method, which is the random forest and extra tree. Also the classification algorithm, which is KNN and CVM. And thank you so much. Um, so the uh, number of authors are on the page, I mean, on, the, um, on this presentation. Uh, so you're welcome to address any of your query, any of your question. And um, uh, as you all know, uh, our PowerPoint is just a summary of what we have. Uh, so if you have, maybe you, we, we have everything in details on our paper, which is already published and it's online. Uh, so please, I will advise you, uh, you can refer to our paper. Uh, yeah, so with that, I thank you all. And uh, for any question, you're welcome. Thank you.